world is familiar with classical icons such as the Parthenon in Athens. But recent research suggests that both the ancient Greeks and the Romans saw their marble treasures very differently from the way we see them today. Close examination of the marble surfaces has revealed microscopic traces of pigment, particularly one known as Egyptian blue. While parts of the marble work were left white, some areas were blue, others red, with some detail picked out in gold. A recent exhibition at the Vatican Museum featured famous statues, like that of the young Roman Emperor Augustus, beside facsimiles painted as researchers determined they would have looked. Augustus's hair is coloured, the detail on his armour is richly decorated, and his toga is scarlet. The ancient Greeks had developed the use of red and white lead, as well as vermilion. The reason that Egyptian blue is so common in analysis is that it is very stable. Classical sculpture had been forgotten during the Middle Ages, but with the Renaissance, a growing interest in art led to the rediscovery of the classical art form. New artists like Donatello and Michelangelo tried to recreate the perfection of the Greek and Roman forms, which after more than a thousand years had lost their external pigmentation, appearing pure and white. The British Museum's collection of sculptures, hacked from the Parthenon by Lord Elgin in 1801, was scrubbed back to their pristine whiteness in 1930, when art patron Lord Devine felt he was restoring them to their original state. The damage done by his team of workmen, armed with wire brushes, is clearly visible today. Yet even here, traces of Egyptian blue have been found.